Hi, my name is Joseph Parker, WBA Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so the WBA have released their new rankings for the month of June. This one will be talking about the heavyweight division. And if you think that the WBA can't get any more bent, any more corrupt, any more incompetent, choose whatever word that you want to use. Well, think again. Because when just when you think that the WBA might actually be starting to turn a corner because of the threats from the ABC about banning them from having their titles defended in the United States of America. And they said that they're going to improve certain things and they have improved certain things. But now they're starting to go back down that dark path. They are absolutely shoddy. These are the same organization who just over the last several months had Bogdan Dinu ranked at number one. Bogdan Dinu. Yeah, they had Bermain Stiverne suddenly appear in their top 15. Just so we can go fight Trevor Bryan for the vacant WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, Bermain Stiverne. They had Mark Damori ranked in the top 15. The list goes on. I can, go, I can continue and continue. But I'm going to get into the top 15 that the WBA deem as the top 15 heavyweights in the world. And then we'll go back through the top 15 and I'll point out exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Some of you will spot it straight away. Anyway, Alexander Usyk is the unified world heavyweight champion, including the WBA. Trevor Bryan is the WBA regular world heavyweight champion. Daniel Dubois is number one. Number two, Michael Hunter. Number three, Robert Hellenius. Number four, Huey Fury. Number five, Anthony Joshua. Number six, Martin Bacoli. Number seven, Arsene Bek Makhmadov. Number eight, Zahn Kosobuski. Number nine, Deontay Wilder. Number 10, Lenny Perro. Number 11, Joseph Parker. Number 12, Andy Ruth Jr. Number 13, Kevin Lorena, number 14, DeCary Scott, and number 15, Big Daddy Lucas Brown. So that is the top 15. These are the best heavyweights, the top 15 in the world, according to the WBA. Yep, this lot. No Joe Joyce or anything like that. Okay. Now, understandably, again, some people don't always understand why, for example, because I, I always get this question, why is it that maybe Tyson Fury is not ranked in this particular one? Well, that's because he's WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Now, dropped out this month is Tony Yoka. Of course, Tony Yoka, he lost by a wide points decision against Martin Bacoli. I'll say wide because we all had it wide, except one of the judges, right? Hey, what can you do? But he's been dropped out of the top 15. So let's get into the elephant in the room. In fact, it's quite a few elephants. The rooms get very crowded when it comes to the WBA and their incompetence or corruption, however. Number 15, Lucas Brown. Now, he's just been inserted into the top 15 from nowhere. Lucas Brown, if you just look at, say, his last four fights, got stopped by Dave Allen. He defeated a John Hopoate, however you say, but, um, I mean, this is a guy who was 12 wins and six defeats. Then he gets knocked out in the first round by a rugby player called Paul Gallen. Last time out in December, mind, he defeats over seven rounds a guy called Faiga Opelu who had 14 wins two defeats and a draw now this weekend in Australia on the George Cambosis Devin Haney card he will be taking on Junior Farr now if he defeats Junior Farr okay fair dues you can kind of see maybe he might just sneak into a top 15 potentially who knows listen I'm not discrediting Lucas Brown okay I like Lucas Brown I do he's got a huge punch on him no doubt can't take a punch and he's a fun heavyweight he is now he is in his uh was he mid 40s now or something like that but to rank him in the top 15 from nowhere is ridiculous why have they done that why for what reason i mean it, um, is there some kind of belt on the line oh yeah there is for the wba oceana heavyweight title and the vacant ibf australian heavyweight title as well okay listen Heavyweight titles in Australia, heavyweight titles in Britain, heavyweight titles in America, heavyweight titles in Germany, whatever, don't mean shit. They don't. So does that warrant for him to be ranked in the top 15? Now, if they had Junior Farr in there, even though he did lose to a former WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Joseph Parker, last time out, okay, kind of, maybe. But not Lucas Brown. Not Lucas Brown. Is he going to defeat Junior Farr? You wouldn't put your house on it now, would you? 
You really wouldn't. If I gave you all a tenner, you'll go out there and you'll be putting money on Junior Fart, not Lucas Brown. Now, Lucas Brown is a former WBA regular world heavyweight champion. He never got to defend the belt, and we all know why. Did he have any good wins on his resume? I mean, yeah, he, he did defeat Ruslan Chagaev. That was a good win back in the day. He does have a very famous name on his resume in, in uh, James Tony, but that was a faded James Tony. Anyway, let's move on from that one. I told you the WBA are absolute wankers. Um, they have boosted Lenier Perro up by four positions. So Lenier Perro is now their number 10 in the world. Lenier Perro, a guy with only seven fights. Seven. That's it. Seven. He hasn't fought since last month, but yet somehow he's been boosted by four positions. I wonder why. Is money exchanging hands somewhere along the lines? You would certainly imagine so. You really would. Now, Martin Bacoli, up at number six. It, listen, that was a good fight. Good dominant performance over Tony Oka. I can agree with that. Why not? He's earned it. He has earned it. No doubt whatsoever. But then, of course, we can look at other people like Dakari Scott. He's only had seven fights too. Now, he was freshly inserted in the top 15 last month and he's continued to be ranked in there. Now, the Kerry Scott, he will be fighting on the Trevor Bryan, Daniel Dubois undercard. And I, and I think last time I had the Kerry Scott fought on a Don King show. So clearly he's going to be fighting on another Don King show. Listen, we all know the bent relationship between Don King and the WBA. We know it. We see it. Is that why Dakari Scott is ranked in their top 15, ranked at number 14, even though he's only had seven fights? Hasn't beaten anybody, by the way. But he's ranked in the top 15, just like Lenny Perro. Although Lenny Perro's got no connection to Don King, as far as I'm aware. Who knows what his connection is? But other than that, no great changes. I mean, Deontay Wilder, he's been dropped down two positions. Hey, fair dudes, he hasn't had a fight since he lost to Tyson Fury. He has announced that he's coming back, but he may have just been saying that because the crowd was there. Who knows? But some fights that have been made since last month's rankings is official. Huey Fury versus Michael Hunter. So that's number two versus number four. Great. And that was ordered by the WBA. Although originally they ordered Huey Fury versus Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius decided not to do it for whatever reason it may be. So because they ordered it and Robert Hellenius didn't take it, they should drop Robert Hellenius. They should. The IBF do. So why haven't they done that with uh, Robert Hellenius? PBC fighter by any chance? Could it be that one? You betcha. Now, going forward, are they going to change? No. They're slipping back to the old ways. That's what they're doing. They're not improving things. So I employ the ABC the federation who oversees boxing for the, for the United States of America, the ABC, to go through with your threat. Kick them out. Clearly, they're ranking for favours. Or they're ranking because people are paying them. This is not a top 15 that you can look at and go, oh yeah, that is a top 15 in the world. These are the top 15 heavyweights in the world. If you're going to have Lucas Brown on there, we have Dave Allen on there. You know, he knocked out Lucas Brown. Are you saying that Lucas Brown is better than Joe Joyce? Are you saying that Lucas Brown is better than Tony Yoker, who's just been recently dropped? Come on now. As I said, these guys are bent as out. They really are. But Mainz de Verne previously. Bogdan Dinu previously. Mark Demori previously. And we all know why. They were ranked there because they had a purpose. Because they were going to be an opponent for somebody to get a high ranking. They tried to do it with Mark DeMori and Michael Hunter, but the was it the New York Federation, whatever it was, association, didn't allow it. So then suddenly they dropped Mark DeMori. Okay, he didn't have a use anymore. Bogdan Dinner was ranked number one. Why? Because it allowed Daniel Dubois to have that comeback fight after losing to Joe Joyce to gain that number one position. But Mainz de Verne was ranked in there last minute. Why? Because he's a Don King fighter and they stripped... Manuel Char of the WBA regular title because he couldn't get into the country of America to put it on the line for an, an, um, another Don King fighter in Trevor Bryan versus Bermain Stavern. Absolutely bent this lot. Anyway, let's see what they do next month. I'm sure they're going to continue the trend. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.